Snickers, have they? Dude. Don't do me, you long haired Yahoo! Eat a Snickers. Why? Because you're a cranky old man when you're hungry. But now the man who stoned the flaming crows is here to dance. I'm a mechanic. Ray Ma, actor, legend, and musical theatre star. And the legendary Ray Ma is with us. We've been talking all about Pippa's trying to make the connections here with the old Pippa that used to star in Home oh, and Away. I, and, uh, I thought it was quite a good I connection, I can remember actually. the first show. Yes, you mm -hmm. can. It's so lovely to have you here. Well, thank you, ladies. It's great to be on a show hosted by two of your sex. <laughs> yes. If you're allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you just did, Ray. I, I thought it was a fairly delicate subject in New Zealand at the moment. Oh, yeah. right, no, we won't go there. We won't go there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, let's not go there. We've, we've been there a few times in the last couple of Maybe, days. Maybe I bet you have, yeah. We just looked at that little piece, Ray, yeah. and you've been so many different personalities, so many different characters. I mean, I remember you as slightly grumpy Alf. That could often be nice Alf, but you don't seem to be like that at all in real life. Whew, thank God for that. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I don't know. Uh, I suppose as in, a, in a character like Alf that's an ongoing character, I think, I think it's a mistake to try and make him too much of a character because you have different writers coming through all the time and they mightn't see him as you see him and they'll write it differently than how you saw it so um, there's probably a, a close to 80 percent of me in Alf and then the other 20 percent is when he does his block and has a heart attack and does all <laughs> these things that fortunately I haven't done so far so um, yeah yeah hopefully you keep all that grumpy short-tempered stuff away most of the time yes and, and then you've really pushed the boat out with Priscilla how did this opportunity come about Look, it was an opportunity that I knocked back when it was first offered. Um, Gary McQuinn, who was the producer, the original producer of, of Priscilla, asked me if I'd do two weeks for a friend who was in it in Sydney. And uh, I said, look, thanks, Gary, I'm really flattered, but no thanks. And he said, have you seen it? He was really shocked. And, and uh, I said, I saw the movie. No, he said, the stage show. The stage. So... Uh, it, I said no, and he said, well, come and have a look at the stage show before you finally make up your mind. And I went with him to see it, and I reckon I was watching it for about five minutes. I said, my God, how long has this been going on? I've got to have a bit of this. You was, know, was, when do was I start? The, was it the Bowers, was it? With the, with the feathers? <laughs> no, it's dead the, infectious, isn't I it? I tell you what, it, what it was, basically, was the music, the fun, uh, and, and by, you know, during the show, as well as all the, the recognisable music numbers, and you're tapping your foot anyway, but there are some really good stories. There's two or three mm. different love stories. There's a tear in the eye, mm. you know. It, it, it'll almost bring you to tears, but the enduring thing is you go out feeling great. Yes. You know, it, it, well, when, when I did it in London for um, or six months in one stint and then another four months, um, sometimes early in the week when people had been dragged along by their husbands or something, and, or husbands had been dragged along by their wives, they might be a bit quiet in the first half. By half time, they're really getting into it. And by the end, there was a standing ovation every night. I mean, and I'm not saying that because the cast were necessarily great. The piece is great. It is a great piece. It's a fun piece. And, and it's not just a show for... Uh, women's hens parties and gays blokes my age you know hardened old heteros <laughs> it, it, it can be difficult to get them through the door but once but they get in there they love it and they'll be standing and singing along how does it work with home and away because you've been is it coming up 29 years only original cast member how do you um arrange to get the time off with the producers or do you just you just tell them <laughs> little, little contractual, thing, <laughs> contractual thing. But, but no, they're, they're pretty good anyway. You know, they'll, uh, with reasonable notice, so they can write you out in a semi-credible manner. <laughs> um, they'll, they'll do that. Um, but really, I had a fairly serious question for Tony. Um, oh. I've, been having a bit of, oh. I've been having a bit of trouble with my weight lately. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I've put on a fair bit. I was just wondering if you knew any sort of weight oh, loss pills or anything like that. <laughs> ha have my ads reached Australia, have they? Well, no, but somebody said that there was some suggestion at one stage that you might be... I don't know, either connected or interested. <laughs> Is there any truth in that? I, I cannot believe you're doing this to me. My, my CEO did it to me, and now I have, like, Australia's most famous person doing it to me. This is just horrendous. I want to ask, Ray, because Home and Away is in nearly a, more than 100 countries. I thought you were going to say Home and Away is nearly 100 years old. <laughs> <laughs> so <are you. laughs> How rude. Rude. This, this early on in the piece. Um, does, does that mean you can't travel anywhere in the world without being noticed? Oh, no. Look, America's fairly safe. But the problem with it being as successful as it is in the countries that it's on in 
uh, is that those people are often travelling to the safe countries when you're there. So I, I can remember seeing, uh, yeah, looking at the statue of David in, um, what's that wonderful city in, um, um, isn't it dreadful, I've gone blank, uh, Siena and Florence, in Florence, Florence, Florence. Where, where, where David lives. And here's this famous, world famous piece of sculpture. And I was standing there one day looking at it, and then behind me I heard, Elf! 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 <laughs> it was a bunch of English tourists, these girls who were, who were touring, who watched Simon Wine. I said, no, 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 no. David, David, David. <laughs> hey, Elf, David. Oh, I, can't know, I, can't, I can't know who I'm going to get a picture with. No, 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 no. Of work the, the, the sculpture of David is slightly different. They pay me at home in a way to keep my shirt off. <laughs> seen it with you without it, uh, Ray, so I cannot possibly judge. Hey, thank you so much for coming on this evening. Might I just say, Priscilla, Civic Theatre, uh, 